Hello everyone and welcome back to Next Stage Designs with me Sylvia. In today's video I'm going to show you how to crochet this very easy Romanian cord. For this Romanian cord I will be using category 4 yarn which is Aran but of course you can use any yarn you like or prefer for your project. Also I will be using 5 millimeters hook and you will also need a yarn needle. I am going to show you how to crochet this cord and I will be using it as my belt for my vest. And this Romanian cord can be used in many many different projects like the handbags, belts, bracelets, headbands and many many other different projects. So for this cord we are going to start with a slip knot. Hold your yarn and like so wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross. Go under this first one on top of the second one, pull it down and twist your hook and this is your slip knot. Make sure you are not working your stitches tight for this cord. Now we are going to chain two yarn over and pull through the loop you had on your hook like so. That's one. Make sure it's loose like this and one more. So we have one and two. Next we are going to work single crochet into this very first stitch right here. To do so we are going to insert your hook like this yarn over pull through that first loop like this now you have two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through both like so to finish your single crochet next you are going to turn your work like this and now as you can see we have this tiny loop right here and we will work single crochet under this loop. We have only one for now. So now you are going to insert like so yarn over pull through the first loop yarn over and finish your single crochet like so next you are going to turn your work like so and now you will have two loops these are vertical loops so we have one and two we have one and the second one and we will work under the both loops insert that's why we need to have our stitches really nice and loose as you can see the loops are there yarn over pull through both first like so you have two loops on your hook yarn over and finish your single crochet still my loops or my stitches are really loose once you know how to do this cord you can go tighter turn your work like so and again from now on you'll be always working under the both loops one and two. I can also call them side loops because they are like this and when you turn them they are on the side. So let's do it again. You will insert your hook like so under the both loops one and two. Yarn over pull through first two like so and yarn over finish your single crochet turn your work 
and do exactly the same. Work under these vertical loops. Yarn over pull through first two and yarn over pull through two and so on. And that's how we are going to work on your Romanian cord belt. Like so. And you can help yourself with the finger to pull it on like this. It's much easier. One and the second one. And this is our Romanian cord. And this is how you're gonna work on your cord for as long as you need for your project. And for my belt, I have 215 centimeters long Romanian cord. Now you can decide if you want your belt to wrap around you only once or twice or three times. It's up to you. And I have just finished my cord and I will simply finish like this. And then I will chain one and fasten off like so. And then all you have to do, you can hide your end inside or you can add the tassels right here. If you are adding the tassel, you can just leave it like so on both sides. I will be showing you how to add the tassels. So for me, I will leave these ends. Make sure they are exactly the same on both sides. And my ends are 10 centimeters long. So what you need to do, you need to double this length. So if I have 10 centimeters here, I will measure it like so, and then double the length. So you will have 20 centimeters long because then we will have to fold it in half. So I will need 20 centimeters length and I will do two or three lengths you can do even more if you like so i will do let's three and four like this and now we are going to fold it in half like so then you will take your hook and you will insert it somewhere in the middle it's up to you where it doesn't really matter somewhere like so place this loop on your hook and pull through like this and now you can add this end right here make this loop a little bit bigger open it like so and pull through all these strings like so to create a tassel and this is one side done. Now what you can do, just make sure it's nice and straight. So I simply cut it like this. And you will do exactly the same on the other side. my tassels completed so you can finish your belt 
like so you can and of course you don't have to maybe you only want to add the bead at the end or just do the knot it's up to you but i decided to go with the tassels and also i wanted to show you how to add the tassels to your cord and this is the belt completed I hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like it share it and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel unique stitch designs for more ideas from me Sylvia and please don't forget to find me on social medias I am on Facebook Instagram Pinterest and TikTok thank you very much for watching